I hope you guys know this, and I hope you guys respect this, is the fact that I do love more than just Marvel, by the way. I hope you guys know this by the way my page is set up. But one character I've been actually been into recently is the character known as Damage. He's basically pretty much DC's version of Hulk. He appears in DC Rebirth, a millionth rebirth that DC Comics has done. You know, the pre-crisis, then you got the post-crisis, then you got the New 52, then you got Rebirth, you know, all these reboots. And Damage is one of the newer characters. So he doesn't have that many feats. But it would be nice to go through his list so far. Even though he doesn't have that many. He's kind of on some Captain America. Or some Weapon X type stuff. Being experimented on to do good. But the army had other plans for him to be a weapon. And things like that. But how strong is Damage though. Based on what we've seen so far. Like I've said before in the past. And I'll say this now. He's one of those characters, since he's new, he doesn't have that many flashy feats, or none at all, really, when you think about it. Only feats he has are battle feats. And if you don't analyze the people he's fought, then he would seem like he's nothing compared to other powerhouses. But that's when you got to analyze the people he fights. And the people he has fought are some heavy hitters, like Flash, Wonder Woman, and even Superman himself. He even has lore to back up his strength. What is lore? Writer intent. Something that a Superman level should be able to do, but sheesh, this has got to hurt. He literally ripped through Giganta's hand. Showing early on, of course bullets are lightweight to him. I mean, he's supposedly the Hulk of DC. Surely Hulk bullets would be nothing to him. Completely kills a man with an uppercut. I mean, yeah, he would be able to do this. Was able to pick apart Gorilla Grodd's army of apes. Yeah, they're lightweight to him. Is able to fight on par with the Amazonian queen herself, Wonder Woman. There were even points in this fight where he was getting the advantage over one of them and choking her and even making her bleed. A actually making her have to exert herself, showing that he is a heavy hitter. Like literally, Gorilla Grodd's forces are swarming him and they're not doing nothing to him. He has some interesting feats like fighting the entire JLA team that consisted of Vixen who can turn into creatures and get their abilities. Same with Guy Gardner being a Green Lantern. And I think we all know how strong Green Lanterns are. Did I mention that he actually curb stomped Gorilla Grodd himself? Yeah, Gorilla Grodd got straight up manhandled and he was bleeding and everything. Look at the size difference too. Probably his best feat out of all of this is the fact that he was able to match Superman himself, the man of the hour where he was fighting the entire Justice League. He was able to match Superman for an extended amount of time. As you can see above, it shows the time that he was, you know, he has to turn back and it went from 22 minutes to 14 minutes. So it's like they were still mating for like straight up 15 minutes straight or 20 minutes in a row. Was shown to completely able to match Superman in an actual slugfest. Not only was he able to take the Flash's punches and hits, he was able to react to his blitz and still be able to tag him, swiping him away. More scans of the actual JLA trying to fight him, Dixon trying to surround him with her abilities, trying to work together with the Flash. Not only was Damage able to react to the Flash, but actually able to hit the Flash with Vixen, then rip apart Vixen's like construct. I didn't even know these things were physical. He's able to completely match the Suicide Squad who contained Solomon Grundy in the group, Deadshot, Harley Quinn. Nothing super flashy because these guys should be lightweight to him and they prove super lightweights to him. Solomon Grundy, maybe on his best days, could probably fight him, maybe. because He's like the definition of inconsistent. The writers purposely make him inconsistent on purpose too, so that's nothing too weird. More scans of him fighting the Man of Steel himself. The Heat Vision actually doesn't really do anything. Look how the Justice League even looks shocked about this. Guy Gardner tries to trap him with constructs. We all know how strong Green Lanterns can be when they contain supernovas in the previous incarnations. He was able to break free and ground pound into hitting all of them. Flash those rocks. They don't do anything. Guy Gardner makes like knuckles out of construct. Those knuckles don't even do anything. Not only was he able to fight one woman to the point where she had to exert herself and fight really hard, but he was actually able to break free of the lasso of truth. One woman is in shock. Do you know the being known as Parasite? Yeah, he tried to absorb his powers, but it didn't work too well. One of the many attempts that these this team tried to do against him, even getting smashed by Giganta's giant hand on top of this, but this, none of this did anything. Fun fact, he's actually friends with Swamp Thing. Yeah, Damage doesn't have really no flashy feats like busting no planet or nothing, but the fact that he can match characters like Superman and Wonder Woman in his universe shows big promise. Battle feat wise, he's up there with the heavy hitters, even though he doesn't have that many showing so far. But what makes him so powerful is his actual lore, writer intent. The writers obviously want him to be DC's version of Hulk, meaning that he obviously has to be up there with the heavy hitters. I mean, it only makes sense, right? If you have your doubts about why fighting Superman is impressive, even in Rebirth, is that the fact that he was able to repair the freaking moon. One of his cool defeats in Rebirth, and one of the ones I wanted to handpick for this video. This is a really cool sight to see also. If you want some more insight on how strong damage is, how about the fact he got some lore with some character statements that are from the actual powerhouses. Wonder Woman stated that she has never encountered such strength. Superman replies with never, like confusion, like, you know, you fought me before, what about me? Like, yeah, he's she's talking about you too, like, he's saying damage is up there with you too, like, what? If that's not enough lore for you, or 
writer intent for you? How about the fact that Superman said it out of his mouth that you're one of the you're a wrecking ball and you threw the strongest punch I've ever felt? Please know that he's got punches from Doomsday. So they're pretty much saying, you know, even if this statement isn't necessarily meant to be taken literally, they're trying to say he's on that level regardless of what you may think. That's insane. So when it comes to lower damage, is definitely up there. But unfortunately, that's about what I, all I got for damage since he's a brand new character. But lore wise, he obviously should be compared or scaled to kills like Wonder Woman, Superman. When it comes to raw strength, Superman stated it out of his mouth. Wonder Woman stated it out of his own mouth, and he was able to fight multiple members of the Justice League by himself, like Green Lantern and even the freaking Flash. So all that, even though he doesn't have no Flash, he's like busting no planet. I don't even think he needs to at this point, considering the people he's fought and matched, and they had to fight him for real to do this, and they still couldn't straight up overpower him heck superman couldn't even straight up overpower him he just had to outlast his hour long limit but what do you guys think do you think damage is cool do you think he's dc versions of hulk do you think he should get more issues and more love i hope his issues doesn't get canceled because i actually enjoyed his read i read pretty much all his comic books and his series he reminds me a lot of the hulk and it was very entertaining read even though he's unique in his own ways what do you guys think post your comments down below let me know what you all think